but that doesn't mean, oh, I'm not the elect because I did this or I did that. No, you can repent of that. The difference is, is if you don't repent, you can still do the, the wickedness that you were doing before. Again, referencing this one guy, man, Allah Zahra from the Sakari camp. This dude knows he's going off, man. He knows that the apostles taught him the truth. And what he's teaching is bullshit. He knows this. But he still continues on teaching that bullshit. So what's going to happen to him eventually? The Lord is going to destroy him. See? But if you repent, man, and, and you turn from your wicked way, the Lord will have mercy on you. So I mean, brothers that are sincere in this thing, that go off, the Lord understands you, man. He understands, he gets it. Now he puts you in the circumstances you, you, you're facing right now, so if anything, he would understand. And you. Second Ezra is nine. And we're going to begin by reading verse uh, six. I'll tell you what, we'll begin by reading the first verse. So this is uh, Second Ezra nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, excuse me, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and therefore when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of those days from the days that were before thee and even from the beginning. And we're seeing all of this put together today. Now, I don't know on what's been going on as of lately concerning our um, people. And I'm really talking about on um, this, um, this, this whole notion of protesting. Haven't really seen much of that lately. And I don't know if it's really because people have taken um, the you-know-what and it's kind of slowed people down, it's got people in pain, it's got people hurting so they don't really have the um the um, they don't have the, the, the strength to go out there but we've been seeing anyway years prior, I would say maybe a year and a half, or maybe two years mass protestings, global protestings happening on the earth right? uproars of the people and um, diverse earthquakes that are happening on the earth too. So we're seeing all of this put together and as well as we're seeing the signs and wonders that Yahweh Shai told his disciples a little over 2,000 years ago. So we're seeing all of these things which is um, letting us know, hinting to us that Yahweh Shai is going to visit the world which he made. See? So we know in, in this particular time that we're living in and also in this empire, that's what I really wanted to say, in this particular empire that we're, that we're living in, we know that um, this world ain't going to bounce back, back to the good old days like it used to. We know that the time is going to come when this world is going to be halted. It's going to be stopped, but it's going to be stopped in the most dramatic fashion that your mind couldn't even comprehend. Daniel um, prophesied about this. That we're going to come into a time since there was a nation. Great evils shall befall the cities. Okay? And that scripture, right? That scripture, like the Lord's Messiah. Alright, so what? Uh, let's step. Let me get our. Uh, 
said, have a fleet to hold my phone. I need to get in the mood of holding my phone. Man. But I'll have to keep holding it in to get in. So it reads. I'm sure that will understand. But the most high will speak of those things to the days that were before the even the beginnings. For like us all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Exactly. Even empires. Empires come and go. What did he tell Daniel? Excuse me. What was said in Daniel, especially in Daniel 4, when he brought down uh, the king of Nebuchadnezzar? What did he tell Daniel? That the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. So, the Most High gave him the authority to rule over the people in his time. And then, yeah, he brought them out and eventually he lost his empire. Hell, um, Daniel was even telling him, look, there's going to be other empires, other nations that will come after you and rule over you. And that's what happened. So let's read this again. So as well as this empire, right? The Heavenly Father gave um, these Edomites to rule over us, the Israelites, for a particular point in time. As it reads in the book of Job 9, Verse uh, 24, that the earth is given in to the hands of the wicked. So the Lord gave these other nations, especially the, uh, the Edomites, power over the earth for a particular point in time. And in due time, they're going to withdraw from their power. And we're approaching that time right now, slowly, but surely we're approaching that time. And, uh, when this world is destroyed, then the holy world is going to be in full effect on this earth. In other words, the kingdom of heaven, so that you understand. So before that happens, these plagues have to come, which is written in um, many places in the scriptures, the prophecies. Let's read this. Let's go back over here. Verse 6. Even so the time. Also the highest have plain beginnings and wonderful and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So when this world that we're living in, this empire to be exact, is going to end in the most, like I said before, in the most dramatical fashion that you can't even comprehend. Right? And we're all going to be here to see it. We're all going to be here to see it. And the Lord has just revealed those secrets unto us, as it is written in the book of um, Amos 3, verse 7, that He revealeth the secrets to the servants, the prophets. Same way in um, Daniel's, or that He did to the, the prophet Daniel. And um, it was said in the book of Daniel chapter 2 that the most high is a power of secrets and he, 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 he revealed it, those secrets to um, Daniel, showing him the, uh, the statue that, uh, that Nebuchadnezzar had envisioned too. Alright? So then Daniel broke it down to him and showed him what it meant in regards to those elements that was on the statue which represented all of the empires that would come after him. So, if we're the service of prophets as well as Daniel was, then we're going to have those secrets. We're going to know what's going to happen before it already happens. Let me say it again, just in case I didn't say it right. The Lord has already revealed to us what's going to happen.
before it already happens. So now we become seers. In, um, in the book of um, Samuel 9, I think it's in verse 8, there was a time when people went before the prophet and he was also known as the seer. What is a seer? Someone that could see current events occurring. So we know because we've gotten the awakened, our minds have been stirred up. Back to those words that we once remembered, the knowledge that we once remembered. And now we know what the will of the Lord is. And the will of the Lord in this time, in this eon, is the shortest place. You know, whether we like it or whether we don't like it, that's his will. And we're all going to experience and see the wondrous works of the Lord in those times, man. How he's going to destroy this place and how he's going to deliver the, uh, the elect in these evil, wicked times. Oh, his works are going to be known wonderful. Good and bad. It is going to be more bad happening on this earth than good. But there will be good happening though. And the good is going to happen among the elect, those that were predestined to be saved. Those that were um, chastened of the Lord so that they are not condemned of the world. These men will be saved. Okay? Because as we were doing the work, we were being chastened by the Father. That's why we go through our ups and downs, brothers. That's why you have your your um, your your unique issue, whether it's health wise or whether it's financial, whatever the hell it is. You're dealing with it because the Lord is chastening you so that you are not condemned with the world. And I'm gonna read that later on. Everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you have believed. Let's read it again. And everyone that shall be saved. And shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby you have believed. So, again, like I said, we're found what? Doing the Lord's work. We go out in them, them streets, we put them garments on, and we, 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 uh, we give it loads. <laughs> you know? We go into the breakdowns, we go into the history, whatever we go into, but we go out and, and we do the, do the work of the Lord on the streets. So, the works and as well as our faith is what's going to get us saved out of these perilous times is this going to be him that's going to send those plagues it's going to be him that's going to send all of these um psychological operations which he's going to use men to do that that's these edomites from on high to um further his agenda because you know the elites they have their agenda and they want to set up a new world order a new world system which means that they want in this world they want total power over many's lives and um, this is why um, they're going to be administering this implantable device, the MOTB, prophecy that we go into. You know, that's definitely going to happen in, in, in the time to come. 